Pope Francis suggested today that Catholics may use contraception to prevent the spread of Zika virus, despite the church's longstanding ban. Zika has been linked to birth defects in Latin America, but scientists say more research is needed to confirm a connection. Dr. John LaPook now on what expectant mothers need to know about Zika. Oh, this is baby B up here. 30-year-old Jessica Reiner is expecting twins in April. Today, she's getting a blood test for the Zika virus, something she had never heard of a month ago. The Zika virus definitely adds an element of anxiety. This being my first pregnancy, I feel very anxious about a lot of things. Last month, she and her husband, Drew, took a vacation to Puerto Rico, not knowing it had just been added to a CDC list of places with Zika transmission. Then a friend sent her this text message. Jess, have you heard about Zika? I don't want to scare you, but you should avoid mosquitoes. In Brazil, Zika virus has been linked with microcephaly, babies being born with an abnormally small head and brain. Those who survive often have lifelong neurological problems. Dr. Stacy Ehrenberg is a high-risk pregnancy expert at University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland. She says some of her patients are panicked. I think a lot of patients are very concerned that they could contract Zika virus here in the United States. We don't have any patients here in the continental United States who have actually contracted the virus here. Zika virus remains in the blood of an infected person for an average of about a week. The CDC says based on current evidence, a previous Zika infection does not pose a risk of birth defect for a future pregnancy. And men who live in or have traveled to a country with a Zika outbreak should abstain from sex or use condoms during sex with pregnant women. Public health experts I've spoken to expect the Zika virus to eventually make its way into mosquitoes in the U.S., likely in the South. They say that's why it's so important to eradicate mosquito breeding grounds before the virus arrives. Thank you, John.